Angels, welcome back to my channel. So let's just jump in and see what messages the universe has for you for this quick energy check-in. So we have busting out the receipts. We have love yourself. You're always enough as you are. It's time to make your happiness a priority. Listen to what your inner self is saying. So some of you are making yourself a priority over someone else. I don't feel like this person likes this energy that you're giving them. You could be ignoring them. Or maybe this was how someone was acting towards you, Leo, and now you're returning the favor. When I was doing you guys pre-shuffle, I was sort of picking up the energy that someone was used to you fighting for this connection. And they don't like that you're not doing that anymore. We have fixing them. You can't fix someone. They have to want to change. Accept them or let them go. So it's a bit of advice here. Along with this other advice card, love yourself. What messages do you have for Leo? All right, so we have magic prayer and marriage. Wow, okay, so are some of you praying about being married? Because I feel like this is going to happen for you. Maybe the universe is waiting for you to walk away from this person, Leo. We have your prayers will be answered. Speak your intentions and the universe will provide your heart's desires. So some of you may be, in, be speaking... Some of you may be speaking your intentions on finding the one for you, getting married. And I feel like this is something that's going to happen once you walk away from the person that's not serving you. The person that's not serving a purpose is what I meant to say um, in your life. So we have the marriage card. So maybe some of you are married. Either you are already married and you're praying that things work out for you and your husband or wife. Or some of you are going to meet your husband or wife when you walk away from someone else. We have let them take the will. Step back and allow this person to show you what they're made of and allow them to show you that they actually want this connection. All right. Give me one second. That card just flipped on the floor. We have finality. Permanent ending. No more chances. Goodbye to the old. Some of you walked away from this person or... This is what you're going to do. Yeah, you felt like someone was very disrespectful to you. Something they did or something they said was very disrespectful. We have mixed feelings, conflicting feelings, unsure of the relationship. So we have wants you back and he's not good for you right now. So there's someone here who the universe is saying this person is not good for you. It's bad timing to try to come into a connection with this person is bad timing to try to manifest with this person they could have a lot of tattoos on their chest or on their upper arms on their shoulders this person is hiding something and i feel like you know if this is your story if you're resonating with this you already know that this person's hiding something and that may be part of the reason why you could be wanting to walk away from them I feel like you're dealing with someone who feels they're smooth talker, charming, very like they uh, tell you whatever they think you want to hear to get their way or to get out of trouble with you. But the universe is saying this person is not good for you. They're still dealing with exes or an ex. The universe is saying forget what they say. What matters is what they do. They can say all the I love you's, but if they never put it into practice, it means nothing. The greater the action, the louder the words. Be observant. So the universe is saying, don't trust what this person is saying. You know, make them show you if they want um, want you back and say that they're going to change. One last chance. So this is someone who may come back and say they want this connection. They want this relationship to continue. I feel like this was somebody who was keeping you a secret. But still holding on to you, still have, you know, a lot of love for you because just, you know, I was talking about this earlier. I don't know what reading I was, um, I don't know, was it, I don't know if it was Taurus, it may have been Gemini, I'm not sure. But anyway, I said someone can love you and still not know how to treat you because some people be like, oh, they can't possibly love me. Look how they treat me. No, that's not always the case. This person may love you, but not know how to show it. They may not be affectionate. Maybe they weren't shown love, you know, as a child or growing up as a teenager, whatever the case may be for your person. I feel like this is someone who still wants to hold on to you, but they keep you a secret, possibly because they're dealing with someone else. And it could be um, a case of codependency where they may rely on that other person. That other person may do more for them than you do. And you may say, okay, well, then go towards that other person. But I don't really feel like they love them. I feel like their heart may be with you 
and they're staying with someone else because that's where the stability and the security is for them. And they may feel like you're not going to make sure they're stable um, and grounded and that they have the security that they need. You know, you may not be willing to do that, but I feel like this person may be dealing, for some of you, this person may be dealing with someone who does that. We have be watchful, be on alert and aware of your surroundings. There's a red flag that you are ignoring. Allow the truth to be revealed. So this person may come in telling you that they're sorry, wanting to make things right, doing anything to win you over. And the universe is saying, speak your mind and don't hold back. Don't try to hide who you really are or what you're really feeling. This person needs to know. Are they truly the one or are you wishing they were? Ask yourself if they are right for you. Letting go of someone is never easy, but it's harder to put your all into someone that isn't bringing out the best in you. So the universe is giving you a lot of advice in this reading, Leo, which I feel like some of you don't need it because I feel like you're already deciding to walk away from someone because they keep switching up on you. So you could be angry with this person and not really wanting to um, to deal with them. Some of you are bringing forth some proof. Some of you have something on this person that you're going to be showing them or telling them about or texting it to them. We have you can't have a new beginning without letting something go. Create space for change and new things will find you. Yes, some of you are tired of this person, but they're overthinking something with you. And they don't know that you're on your way out the door. You're done because you're tired of the highs and the lows and the lack of inconsistency. This person may even be crying. They may come back with some empty promises. You could get a text message from them. The universe is saying, think carefully before responding. You may be happy that you received this text message, but know this person is up to their normal bullshit. Okay, so we have new love. A new relationship will be entering your life who will be a reflection of your newfound authenticity. So some of you have already found new love or you will be finding someone new. All right, so let's jump into some tarot. Let's see what messages do you have for Leo's? What do they need to know? Sorry about the loud shuffle. These cards are really loud. All right, so we have the Queen of Swords coming out right away some of you are cutting someone off or you're dealing with an air sign a libra gemini or an aquarius so let's see where this goes oh okay so leo some of you want this air sign you want a new beginning with them for some of you it's an aquarius Yep, you're holding on to an Aquarius or there's an Aquarius holding on to you. You feel like this connection lacks um, direction. The chariot is in reverse. You don't know where this is going. You're tired of trying to figure it out. Some of you may be dealing with a Cancer. The Six of Pentacles. And the six of cups this person is going to promise you that there's going to be an equal give and take but i don't know if you're going to trust them they're um in this nostalgic type of energy thinking about what used to be how things used to be good between the two of you and i feel like they want that back but they don't know how to fix whatever uh is broken yeah, this person left you out in the cold at some point with the Five of Pentacles. Or they just weren't given much of anything. Even if they didn't leave you out in the cold and they were still like coming in, texting you from time to time, it wasn't consistent. So it wasn't good enough. And they know this. I feel like with the Nine of Swords, this is someone who thinks about it a lot. They may be thinking about how they didn't do the right thing and it caused them to lose you because you're showing up here with the Queen of Wands right behind the Eight of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. So this is someone who may be coming in to promise you that they're going to change and you guys can work on the connection. But I don't know. I feel like some of you are done. We have the Four of Swords, the Page of Wands. This person definitely wants to heal this situation. But there is still some lies here. You still want to clear something up with this person or get to the bottom of something with the Moon card. It could be a Pisces or um, another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this person could be younger than you or just immature in their energy when it comes to 
their emotions, giving you attention, how they should treat you in this relationship. You feel like it's just not there. They just don't have it. And you're try tired of trying to get this energy out of them. But we do have the Knight of Cups, the Three of Cups. Yeah, this person hasn't changed. But they're going to come back telling you that they have. Just so that um, you won't leave them. Three of Cups. I feel like some of you already walked away though. But they want a reunion with you. It's just that the death card is in reversal. They're resistant to changing something about their lifestyle or their behavior. Could be a Virgo here also with the Hermit. Or this person, they pull away from you a lot. They isolate themselves. They withdraw from the connection, you know, to be sneaky with someone else. And then they come back in wanting your attention with the Knight of Swords. Like rushing back towards you like you're dumb and you don't know any better. And you know, right, Leo? <laughs> you're like, I'm not dumb. I know exactly what you're doing. I know what you're up to. We have the King of Swords here. So for some of you, it definitely is... Um, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, or someone who's going to try to use their head on you. It's like they're going to try to talk their way back into your life. With the Judgment card, this person is like adamant. They've already made up their mind. We have Scorpio energy here as well with the Judgment. And they're watching you with the Page of Swords. Also be watching your social media. If you haven't blocked this person, we have the Hangman, Pisces energy with the Five of Wands. Some of you are tired of fighting with a Pisces. And right now, this person is watching you. They're trying to see when is the right time to give you this love offer with the Page of Cups. This is someone that was holding back because right after the Page of Cups is the Four of Cups. So they definitely have, some of you are dealing with someone that they have more than one option, but they still want you. And I feel like you could light a fire underneath this person and they still wouldn't admit it. <laughs> You'd be like... I am setting you on fire and you're still going to lie about having a third party. Like, seriously. Yep. And that's what I'm saying. All right. So let's get one more. Oh, spirit set. Two more. Three more. All right. So we have the eight of wands, the magician reversed, and we have the eight of swords. Some of you are confused about whether you can manifest with this person. Um, some of you are confused, Leo, whether you can manifest with a Gemini or a Virgo with the magician reverse. You feel like this person is too sneaky and manipulative and they're a trickster and they tell you one thing and do another and you're just tired of the backwards ass behavior. But I just feel like it's not going to stop this person from trying because the Eight of Wands is here. So expect some sort of communication, whether it's a message, this person hitting you up on social media, if that's how you guys communicate with each other, or a phone call. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thank you for watching my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.